Hello again. I'm sure that viewers have heard about the government's determination to tackle illegal immigration from Albania. They're going to begin a fast-track deportation system, refuse claims for asylum on the grounds of modern slavery, or even refuse all claims for asylum made by Albanians. This is to say nothing of letting Albanian police officers come to this country and help sort out which Albanians are coming here illegally. This is, after all, a major problem. A month ago, the Home Affairs Select Committee was told that between 1 and 2 percent of the entire male population of Albania arrived in this country across the channel this year alone. That's an astounding 10,000 people. Shocking. No wonder the government's keen to crack down on Albanians. A moment's thought, though, will soon show this is just another of those little sideshows with which our masters love to keep us entertained so that we don't look at what is really happening. Between June 2021 and June this year, the population of this country increased by over half a million, that is to say over 500,000 people. Assuming that it is true that 10,000 Albanians make up part of that total, that means they account for a 50th of the number, in other words, 2%. This is a trifling problem. It's the 98% which most of us want to know about, not 10,000 here and there. In fact, all the illegal immigration, which is part of the business which the government wants us all to look at and focus upon, accounts for just 5 or 6% of that half a million people <coughs> who moved to this country between June 2021 and June this year. What of the other 95%? Well, they've arrived legally because our government invited them here. It is this immigration that the government doesn't want us to talk about or indeed even think about or notice. That is why they're working up the fear about Albanian immigrants. It is a distraction. It's the three card trick being played upon us. In India, many education agencies advertise openly that the best route to settling in Britain is to come here as a student and then get a job in this country afterward. These advertisements even tell people that they can bring their families with them. The same thing is happening in Nigeria as well, of course. Here's a handy tip. Whenever the government, not just this one, but governments in general, start talking about something and drawing our attention to it, as we are seeing right now with Albanian asylum seekers, don't look at it. Instead, cast your eyes around a bit and ask yourself what is going on that the government does not want you to look at. In the present case, what the government doesn't want us to look at is the fact that 95% of the immigrants to this country are here by invitation because the government actually wants them to come here. Making student visas from India easier to obtain was something done quite deliberately by Boris Johnson. It was government policy. So too is bringing more cheap labour into the country to say nothing of the tens of thousands of Ukrainians who now have their feet under the table, together with all those Afghans. This is all official government-sponsored immigration. Once again, we are being taken for mugs.